So in this tutorial we are dealing with unsymmetrical faults. We will discuss single line to ground fault, line to line fault and line to line to ground fault. So stay connected till the end of the video. So first of all let's discuss single line to ground fault. Uh, you can think of single line to ground fault, uh, let's say if a tree falls onto the transmission line and as a result if one of the lines falls to the ground then this will give rise to a faulty condition power system and this fault is known as single line to ground fault. Uh, for example, let's give names to the three phases, for example phase A, phase B and phase C. Then let's say if phase A is faulty then what's going to happen its voltage is ultimately going to be uh, dropped down to a very minimum value and most of the faulty current will flow th through this faulty line and other two phases uh, for example phase B and phase C they, they will be considered as open path so we can say that um, if there are three phases, phase A, phase B, and phase C, and single line to ground fault occurs at phase A, then VA, the yani voltage of phase A, is going to be zero, and the currents in phase B and phase C, they are going to be zero. Though they are not zero, they are a very minimum value, but uh, we can say in theory that it is going to be zero. And there are, um, if, we, if we talk about sequence values, then the vector sum of sequence components of the voltages is, is going to be zero in single line to ground fault and in single line to ground fault the sequence current components um, they are equal and they are equal to one third of the faulty current And you can verify uh, these findings here on EDAP. Um, if you observe the voltages, then the voltage of phase A is zero and other uh, the currents of phase B and phase C are zero here. So this is single line to ground fault phase values. And if you check the sequence values, then you can see here all of the sequence currents are equal in magnitude and if you use a calculator and you know if you verify the relation i naught is equals to i1 equals to i2 is equals to one third of faulty current so it will actually be verified here and uh, if you you know take the vector sum of all of these voltage sequence components they are going to be ultimately zero now if we discuss line to line faults then um, again take the same example there are three phases phase A, phase B and phase C and let's say if, if the fault is occurring on phase B and phase C then uh, what will be the ultimate result? The voltages on phase B and phase C they will be equal and the current flowing through this faulty path it will be uh, equal in magnitude and opposite in the phase. For example if one angle 40 is flowing through phase B then one angle minus 40 will be flowing through phase C so it will be equal in magnitude and opposite in phase and if you talk about the current in the unfaulty path that is phase A uh, it will be almost equals to zero or it will be uh, uh, equals to a very minimum value and if we talk about sequence uh, sequence component values then as we know it is line to line fault and there is no ground and zero sequence component needs a ground to flow so since there is no ground here then zero sequence voltage component and zero sequence current component it will be equals to zero and positive and negative sequence components of voltages will be equal while positive and negative sequence components of currents will be equal in magnitude and opposite in phase or we can say that the vector sum of positive and negative sequence currents uh, it will be equal to zero
now we can verify all of our findings here on ETAP. Uh, we can see that if we talk about phase values, then phase B and phase C's voltage is are equal in magnitude and in phase as well. And uh, we can see here the phase currents are equal in magnitude and opposite in the phase. And if we talk about sequence values, then we can see here V naught and I naught are zero. And at any point, if you want to use calculator to verify anything, you can use V one is also equals to V two, and I one is equals to minus I two. Now let's finally discuss line to line to ground fault. Uh, again, let's say there are three lines, line A, line B, and line C. Then uh, if you say there is line to line to ground fault on line B, line C with ground, then in this condition, the voltages, the phase or line voltages of line B and line C will be zero. And the current flowing through unfaulty line, that is line A, it will be equals to almost equals to zero or it will be equals to a very minimum value and if you talk about sequence values then the vector sum of all the uh, all the sequence components of the currents will be equals to zero and uh, the sequence components of voltages will be equal among them among themselves and they will be equal to one third of the voltage of unfaulty line again we can verify our findings here on ETAP it is very clear that VB and VC are 0 IA is 0 and uh, you can use calculator to verify this expression IB plus IC equals to 3 I naught if you talk about sequence values then verify this expression I0 plus I1 plus I2 equals to 0 by using calculator and it is very clear that sequence component values of voltages are equal among themselves and it is also equals to one third of VA.